it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another auction haul. Today is round two of the large auction haul that I was able to buy. And in this video, there's gonna be lots of salt and pepper shakers and some figurines and then some like little boxes you'd put makeup in. So let's take a look. Okay, so there are about 29 sets of salt and pepper shakers on this side of the table. And I did go a little overboard on spending. I spent $50 just on salt and pepper shakers alone. Now, some of these I bought individually because they did do it that way at the beginning. And then after they sold as much as they felt necessary out of a particular flat, they would say, okay, the rest of the flat, um, and then you would go bid on that. So the f basically what a flat is, is just the lid of a box. So it's about that tall and then it houses these salt and pepper shakers in it. So let's start way back here with these Indians in this canoe. This is one of the ones that I bought individually. I think I paid about four or $5 for it, but it's a pair of little Indian people and it's made in Japan. Most of these, if not all of them are made in Japan. So that is one reason that I paid more for these than I did even in that last video or the one of the previous videos where I had like 50 shakers for $10. So that is why. And then we've got this little boy here. So I guess they're little kids, I suppose. Canoe, and it is there, an Arizona souvenir. Very nice, love that one. This will go online. Most of these will probably, bah, about half of them should go online. This is another one that I bought. I think I paid about $6 for this one individually as well. It is one of these before and after wedding couples. So this is the after and then before is right there. So these I expect to sell for roughly about $20, $25. Very nice set and really happy about that. They are also marked Japan and they got little cork bottoms in them. This is another one that I bought individually. I thought it was really unique. I love the fact that it is so massive, I guess only word I can say. Um, it has all these different pieces to it. And then like a little guy right in the middle, the Joey in the middle. So I guess you could probably put a little tiny bit of sugar in there. Not much. Oh, we have a salt and pepper shaker. What am I doing? And then I turn it over, made in Japan. So that is awesome. Really happy about that. Gotta wa wash off that little crayon there. My goodness, that little crayon there. Okay, back over here, we got these little, what are they, toucans or little birdies. There they are, a pair of them made in Japan. I do have extra stoppers that I can repair that with so that they are good to go. Not sure if these are gonna go online or in the booth, but generally in the booth, I can get no more than about five, maybe six dollars, eh, about there, for a salt and pepper shaker. I could try some of these in the booth, but I'm currently out of space, so. They will have to go, go wait, go wait their turn. Here we have some cute little kittens here. Oh, they're boxing, huh? I didn't notice that at first, but there they are, boxing kittens. And there's what's left of a Japan sticker there. There we are, there's the full one. So that is awesome. Those will probably go online. Here we have some really nice, these are Norcrest, marked right there, foil sticker. Norcrest Fine China Japan, the pair of kissing ducks. That is so cute. Those will also go online. I think this is the only, yeah, I think this is the only set that are made in China. So they're slightly newer than the rest, but there they are made in China, a black and a white cat. Those will go in the booth probably. <laughs> oh, Stella. Do you gotta go outside? Do you have to go outside? Come on, let's go. Stella, do you have to go outside? Do you? Come on. Here we go. Don't want to listen to that barking. Okay. Why does that always become a routine thing with these videos? The dog and oi. Um, black and white cat going in the booth. These are really cute. Love them. They're like little flowers. And I'm not quite sure what's going on here because there is the two pink ones and this one yellow one. Maybe it was two separate sets at one point and I might just keep it that way and get rid of, I don't know. I don't know which color to get rid of if I get rid of one. Um, maybe I'll just put these online as a set of three. So 
that's neat and they are i believe japan yep as well little brown jug pair of two those will probably go in the booth these are some tourist salt and pepper shakers with these seals it says cliff house san francisco and they are japan those are neat probably go online here we have a cute little set of deer and they have some weird eyes very weird eyes and they're they're made in japan as well the sticker's not there but there they are they might go online these here are some old what do they call those pot belly stoves mark japan or it's a barrel of some sort i don't know but there they are uh, i'm not sure what's going to happen with these if they go in the booth or not probably the booth these are really cute they are kish with these fun anthropomorphic faces on the pineapples they do need a stopper on that one this one has a stopper but there they are oh look at that uh what does that say palmar product of japan really cool those will go online these are a cute pair of little birds and there we are made in japan once again very very nice these are another pair that I bought. Uh, well, did I buy them singly? No, I didn't buy them singly, but they were in a flat and that's the reason why I kept bidding it up. Um, I think I paid like 10 or, 10 or $12 for that flat of salt and pepper shakers. And this was the reason why. I thought they were really cool and old. And I need to continue to do research on this, but this one says pepper with these linked rings and salt, same thing. Salt shows a little bit more wear. I have to do a little research on this to know what this pattern is called, but it looks to be Art Deco from that time frame. Tw 20s are probably more likely 30s. Very cool. Tops have seen better days, but these will go online most likely. Actually, yes, I can guarantee they will go online. Very nice. These are a cute pair, very cute pair of owls. Um, one of the nicest pairs I've seen in a while for their expression and coloring and detail. So need to stop around that one. And this one has it. I don't think they have their sticker, but like everything else, it's Japan. <laughs> Very cute. Love that set. We'll go online. This one here, I have to mention it. It is amazing. I love it. So original. Have not seen this one before. It's a dog barking up a tree. <laughs> so really awesome. Mark Japan on that one. And the tree stump itself is another shaker. Also Mark Japan. So awesome. That will definitely go online. These are weird. I don't know if it was a handmade home craft kind of a thing or if this was actually sold like this but either way it's kind of weird i don't know much else about it if anybody happens to know if this is a collectible or desirable thing i would be shocked if it was but i've been wrong before so that's those here we are love the coloring on these birds pheasants whatever they are mark japan pair of them they are in great shape and i'll say most all of these are chip free, so that is awesome. These here are some Japan, Chinese, Oriental type, well, there we are, shakers. The kind of stuff that I don't generally do very well with, but they will probably go in the booth for that reason. Also, love these elephants. We've got some spaghetti string detailing here with the gold accenting on the tips. Very, very cute. Love the expression on these elephants. Really cute eyes mark japan with a cork in its belly <laughs> and i got a purple one to match awesome love those really cool oh where are we at here we are got some beautiful little tomatoes i guess they are with a head scarf <laughs> love that mark japan and it's a pair of them they match wonderful anthropomorphic tomatoes here we have another again set of birds what are these pelicans and mark japan really cute love the color fun pink color on those another anthropomorphic set this one of beats could they be beats not the headphones <laughs> but there they are wearing a dress how cute and mark japan that goes without saying and then yet again i think this is actually the last salt and pepper shaker set and then we'll move on to figurines and other things and we have these really cute butterflies on 
flowers, corks, cork bottoms. Really awesome, these will go online. So as you can see, the over half of these will be going online. Oh boy, just think about all that listing. And then some of them going in the booth. Okay, on this side of the table, we've got some other things. We've got some of these little uh, makeup containers and then back here, a couple little figurines. So back here, we have these really cute, love them kittens with the little stone eyes, the blue eyes. And then this one here, I love the luster wear on that. So I bought these two and these two. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else in that flat. No, let's just say those four. So those four were in the flat and I did pay like, I don't know, $8 for them. And uh, the main thing I was after was these two. Love those and I'm probably gonna keep them. We'll see. They're really awesome. I love this luster wear. I love the color. Love the little rhinestones in the eyes. This, there's no sticker left on these, but they are obviously Japan from the 60s or late 50s. Very, very nice. And then again, those are in their own way, very, very special as well. And they will easily sell online. Love those. Okay. Up front here, we have some stiffened lace figurines. Mark Japan on the bottom there in this Victorian style. This lace has seen better days and it is very dingy and dirty. Um, I'll do a little research to see if I want to even bother trying to clean this lace. I have dealt with lace like this in the past with using a little bleach water mixture in a, in a fine tooth brush and it does help, but it's, you know, a little time consuming. So we'll see what this kind of market is online. I'm not too, um, I don't, I'm not too optimistic about how well these sell online. I don't think they're that desirable, but we'll see if they do. Um, I'm thinking they'll probably go together. The two sisters there can go together and maybe this one can go with it. All Japan, very cute. But again, I'll do research before I make any rash decisions. So very, very cool. Um, oh, let's just continue the figurines then we'll go on to these boxes. This is absolutely stunning. Look at the stones on that. Oh my gosh, everyone just has to have one of these. My goodness. And it is marked mm, Kreiss and Co. K-R-E-I-S-S. -S. There we are, and company. And then the back of this tag, whoop, this isn't working. Back of the tag, there we are. Um, what does that say? Gay Chines? And then I think de, uh, gay dogs. <clears throat> and that was a popular expression, you know, probably in the 50s and 60s and 40s and 50s. Whenever you just mean happy, obviously. Everyone that's older than me knows that. But that was something that I learned, well, with I Love Lucy. That is amazing. I don't know. I don't like these eyelashes. They're kind of creepy. But that's just my own flaw. I love them, love this. But it'll be hard to part with it, I'm sure. Do a little research on that. By the way, I think I paid, yes I did, I paid like $3. That was in a flat and was really shocked to be able to get it. And then this little guy here, he was also, I believe in the same flat for the $3. So that is great. Okay, back here, love that. It's a girl wearing her gray plaid with her umbrella. She is missing the top of her hat, unfortunately, but I don't think that's too too bad for her. I mean, you can still use this, put some hat pins in it, keep it as an open top. It's really great either way. So she has this umbrella that sets up top of this metal piece here, and then we'll go to the bottom so you can see, made in Japan is that Norcrest label I see, in with a circle. I think so, I think so. So there we are, really cute. Love that. It'll probably go online, I would imagine, for about $20 or so. If the if the top of, I'm trying to get this um, thing on here. If the top of the lid, <laughs> oh, it's like a game, screw it. If the top of the, if the top of the hat was there, it would go for more, probably in the $30 range, upwards of 40, I would price that at but I was able to get this for $3. It was also in a flat, but this was pretty much the only thing in that flat of desire. Okay, so 
Right up front here, we have an abundance of these little boxes, mostly makeup boxes for powder, some for jewelry, but all in all, really cute. And the most, uh, the majority of them, I think I bought, for, well, all of these, I paid $3. That's good. Happy thumb, happy, happy, happy. So I paid $3 for all of these. And this set here, I'll probably sell as a set because they all match, but we've got this one here still with some foundation. I imagine that's foundation in there. And then this one here, this one here holds a surprise. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Box number three. Oh, it's a little children's set. Well, a little, little, little children's set, but really cute with this, what do they call that, Delft? No. Um, Oh boy, I forget my words. It is really cute. Set of four plates. And there's actually a little bug house, little bug house figurine in here of an elephant. Love that, made in Taiwan. This I'll sell online, I think. What do they go for, like three or $4? So that's cute, little elephant. Or I'll put him in my window, still with my other animals. I've got a whole zoo up in my window above my kitchen sink. But this was a surprise in here. This Dutch windmill, that's the word. Dutch windmill stuff is so pretty in here. I'll probably sell it as a group. And then gotta clean those off. So that's neat. So I'm expecting to sell the set of three of these right here for about 30 or so dollars. Have to do a little research, but I think as a set and the age, it, it'll do it, it'll work. I'm looking for, there we are. One of them has a stamp. You could go ceramic Japan. So that's very awesome that, that it has a sticker. Okay, right here we have one single guy. Little guy all by himself. Really pretty though. Love this. And it's also marked right there. Um, LW or IW Rice & Co. Made in Japan. Really cute. Probably go online as well. We'll see. It could also go in the booth. You know, if it's something like $12 or around that, I'm trying to get away from that, but we'll see how I feel. Um, we got a couple little metal boxes here. This one has some roses on it with a red interior. Really cute, really fun. And it is marked Japan right there, as you can see. Okay, and then right over here, we have this silver box with this Victorian couple, some scroll work around the edge filigree with leaves and it is footed red fabric on the inside very nice then this is a simple little metal thing i'll probably put this in the booth whoops <laughs> and it's marked made in china so yeah has this gold toned rose on top get on there well i'll have to fidget with that this one here is completely made of plastic no metal required, and it is just a little box. Probably try it out in the booth. If it doesn't work, it might just go donated or something. This one here is really cool. It's metal gold, and I'll try to open it. There we are. And it has a mirror on top with this compartments, with these compartments that you can put earrings or, yeah, earrings. Very nice, very cool. That'll go online. Maybe I'll pair it with this pocket mirror. How pretty. It's like a mother of pearl type finish and it is a mirror. It's two-sided. Nope. There we are. So mirror and they fold into each other. Um, little gold box here with this rose stuff on top marked Japan, as you can see upside down. And inside, we've just got some red velvet. Really nice. These two are the last two boxes of this type of nature, and they are basically my favorite, except they don't work. What they are are music type deals. So there's a little button right there, as you can see. And well, not a button, a little release mechanism. And as you if you wind that up, it will play a tune while you pull out your powder. So it's a shallow type dish, not very deep. And the flower and enameling looks like it's mostly have mostly gone. Unfortunate, but it's a really unique and fun 
dish. I'll try to see if I can get that music thing to work. It, it's just not working. And same thing with this one. Purple, really pretty. Love the flower, same concept. Has a little mechanism there that when released will start playing that song. Well, what song? Well, I go, okay. I thought it said what song that was. But there they are. So that is the, that is all. That is all, folks. That is everything in this haul. And I will see you again on the third and final video with this massive, yeah, massive auction haul. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.